Today we'll be installing the replacement left side fender for our Yakima Rack and Roll, part number Y8880164. This is also available for the right side as part number Y8880163. To begin our install, we're going to go ahead and remove the back two lights. Really simple process. All we need to do is just push the light out from the grommet and then we can go ahead and disconnect the connection here at the rear. At this point we can go and remove the grommet as well. These will be reinstalled on our new fender. This one's a little bit easier just to go ahead and push in instead of pushing out. And all we have to do is remove the connection. And then again, we'll be reinstalling the light as well as the grommet on our new fender. To gain access to the hardware underneath the fender, we do find it a little bit easier to go ahead and flip up the rack and roll. And then it exposes the hardware that we need to remove and we will be reusing that as well. First thing we need, we need to do is just go ahead and remove our hardware. There's going to be seven of the Phillips head screws that need to be removed. And with these out, we can go ahead and get our socket wrench in our socket and remove the bolt here at the center. Now, the last thing that we need to do, and this can be done before removing the fender, is we just need to feed our wiring through this hole. So we're going to undo our ground connection. We'll just unscrew that. We'll save our hardware. We'll go ahead and pull our ground wires through. And then we can undo our connection points here. Bring those through too. And again, we will be using the same wiring to reinstall through our new fender. We've gone ahead and rotated the tire out of the way to reinstall our fender. We're going to take our new fender and to hold it in place, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our bolt partially through. So we're just going to take that and slide it in there going to help hold it in place while we bring back through our wire. So what we can do is we can go ahead and take all of our connections, place them back through the hole, we'll push those together, and then we'll reinstall our ground. With that tight, go ahead and put those back up in the frame reel. That way they're up and out of the way and they'll be protected from the elements. And then before we reattach our wheel, we're going to go ahead and put back in our screws since we have complete access to that. See here how the fender has a nice cutout to fit around the appropriate bracket. And we'll go ahead and replace all seven of our screws. Now we'll go ahead and bring back down our wheel. And on the back side, we'll place the spring portion back over our bolt. We'll place our washer on, followed by our lock nut. And we'll go ahead and tighten that back down. Bring our trailer back down, and then we can install our lights. Take our light, we went ahead and removed the grommet because it's going to make for an easier uh, reinstallation. Plug the light to the back of the housing, or plug the wires to the back of the light housing. Fit the grommet in place, and then we'll just push the light into position. We'll go ahead and do the same for the smaller light over here. And that's going to do it for today's install of the replacement left side fender for the Yakima Rack and Roll Trailers, part number Y8880164.